So I'm Peter Cooper from ArabianMoney.net, here today with Dr. Nassau uh, Saidi, the Chief Economist of the Dubai International Financial Center. This is, today the center is holding a seminar um, about infrastructure development. So just a few questions to uh, Dr. Saidi. So if I could start by asking, what is the scale of the opportunity for infrastructure in the GCC? And what are we talking here in terms of business activity? Scale, the scale of course is much wider. Um, it touches all the countries that are experiencing the Arab Spring, countries which have to be rebuilt, like Iraq, like Sudan, like Libya, Palestine, Lebanon, others, uh, but also as well normal economic development. We have countries which are demographically very young, so what we're talking about is in excess of $110 billion per year at least over the next decade. That's excluding the needs of reconstruction. And we know that there's a funding gap of around 60 billion to 70 billion per year. So very simply, what you can do during this period is to leverage the knowledge and expertise, get the financing, and help integrate the rest of the Arab world into a changing global economic geography. Uh, and that is a priority, we need to do that. So even in these difficult times, it's still possible to look forward to the future with infrastructure and see this as some kind of a beachhead for the future uh, with obvious opportunities for Dubai. Well, you've got, you've got several things coming together. You've got the infrastructure and logistics, which Dubai already has. It's become a regional trade hub, tourism hub, but also equally investment hub. The multinationals that have emerged from Dubai, Dubai World Central, Emirates Airlines, Dubai Ports World, uh, have the ability to build infrastructure and they've done it, companies like Amar and, and the others, by helping countries that need infrastructure and logistics in two ways. Number one, helping them build the infrastructure and logistics. Number two, integrating them into the UAE and into Dubai's economy, which will allow them to get internationally integrated into a new global supply chain. But the first step seems to be even more in infrastructure investment in places like Dubai, doesn't it? All the A380s this year coming in, the new airport that we heard about this morning. Well, the, difference, the difference is, of course, you could orient your infrastructure to domestic requirements, or you can orient your infrastructure towards trade and investment and external requirements, that is greater openness. What Dubai has done is precisely to have infrastructure assets um, which are externally oriented. Mm -hmm. But more interesting long term is that it means that it's a network so that we in the Arab world, in the main region that want to export can use the facilities of Dubai Port World mm -hmm. and get more integrated with emerging markets which are the growth story of currently and in the future. Mm -hmm. But despite the Arab Spring and the well-publicized problems in Europe and America, we do seem to be now sort of back on a growth track, remarkable though that might be. Oh, 2011 was very significant from that point of view because um, it confirmed several things, that if you have the right types of assets, you can attract uh, economic activity. Mm -hmm. 2011, I think, was an exceptional year in particular for tourism. Mm -hmm. We had more than 51 million people coming through the airport, uh, about 9.5 million tourists. Uh, hotel occupancy rates are very high, uh, close to 90%, um, even in, in the summer months. And this prime location between <coughs> east and west, I think, is important. Uh, we need to be aware of the fact that um, trade movement of people is increasingly towards Asia. Uh, Europe and the United States are of course important in the world economy, but you need to think of the growth and where the growth is going to be coming from. And the bulk of the growth on a global basis, but certainly for us um, sitting here in Dubai, is going to be coming from emerging markets and emerging Asia in particular. And we are well located for that. Asadi, thank you very much for thank you. talking to us today. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.